How's it going, Raptors Nation? Luca Rosano here back with another video, and what a start to the week. A lot of drama to get us going for this Monday, and the season hasn't even started yet, and Nick Nurse is walking into a messy situation in Philadelphia. We're going to talk about it. Before we get into it, be sure to hit a like on the video. It helps us a ton. And please subscribe to the channel for more Raptors content just like this. Help us hit 1,000 subscribers on this channel. So, as we know, Raptors rival Philadelphia 76ers hired Nick Nurse late in May as Nick Nurse joined the Philadelphia 76ers. And you knew Nick Nurse would have to deal with adversity with Philadelphia, but I didn't think he would have to deal with adversity this quick out of the gate. James Harden, he is always an interesting character to deal with. He, of course, requested a trade this summer, and he hasn't been moved a month and a half later after requesting that trade. And then the Sixers leaked this past weekend that they're ending all James Harden trade talks. Well, how did James Harden respond? This led to the events that happened early this morning. James Harden called out team president Daryl Morey publicly for how he handled the Sixers since Harden joined the team in a blockbuster trade back in 2022. James Harden said this during an Adidas media event on his China tour. And I quote, Daryl Morey is a liar and I will never be a part of an organization that he's a part of. Let me say that again. Daryl Morey is a liar and I will never be a part of an organization that he's a part of, close quote. That is quite the statement from James Harden. But Daryl Morey, he is unmoved by James Harden's comments and still plans to keep him per Jay Dumas reports. So the Sixers don't want to trade James Harden unless they get a good haul for him. And that's not going to happen because the reality is no team is going to give the 76ers a prime package for a 34-year-old on an expiring contract who has a history of creating drama and demanding trade requests. It's just not going to happen. So if Harden has no place to go, the Sixers have to keep him. There's no way James Harden is going to put forth his best effort playing for a team that he simply is over with. We've seen in the past. And then how is this going to all affect the reigning MVP who's going to turn 30 years old this season in Joel Embiid? who's already said that he's ready to win a championship, whether it's in Philly or somewhere else. So this isn't looking good for the 76ers at the moment. And then you take the Toronto Raptors. Could a 76ers turmoil create an opening for the Raptors in the Atlantic division and in the Eastern Conference standings as a whole? Because the 76ers, they are in a tough spot right now. They're either going to have to get desperate and trade James Harden for a subpar package just to get him off the team. Or if they keep him, which it looks like they will for the time being, James Harden is not going to give it his all. And this is going to create a very weird, toxic environment. So both situations are simply not good for the Philadelphia 76ers. Now, for the Raptors, I don't see the Raptors trading for James Harden, nor would I want to see the Raptors pursue a trade for James Harden. We know for as talented as James Harden is, he does not have the best track record when it comes to showing up when it matters. And this isn't the first time that he's requested a trade. So what makes you think he wouldn't do that again? So I don't see the Raptors trading for James Harden, but I can see the Raptors potentially benefiting from a downfall of a season for the Philadelphia 76ers. Because if Philadelphia doesn't perform to their standard, and things get weird from within, this thing can go south very quickly. And we saw with Nick Nurse's most recent situation with the Toronto Raptors, he had arguably his worst season with the team. Now, not record-wise, because they obviously had a worse record in 2021, but it wasn't a good situation with Nick Nurse's rapport with the players. You could tell that he had lost a lot of the Raptors in the locker room, on the court. So Nick Nurse, I mean, he just had a very rough ending with the Raptors, and now he finds himself in a very rough beginning with the 76ers. Is Nick Nurse going to be able to hold that locker room together? Is he going to be able to keep all the players in check on the same page when you do have 
a disgruntled star in James Harden, who's in all likelihood still going to be on this roster by the time next season starts. So it's going to make for an interesting situation. And Philadelphia, I mean, this is a team that expects to contend. They expect to win a title. And this is not the type of start to their season that they were hoping for. So if the Sixers season goes south, the Raptors should benefit in more ways than one. And we don't know when Nick Nurse is going to be making his highly anticipated return to Scotiabank Arena as the schedule hasn't been announced yet. But I will say this, whenever that date is, that is going to be must-see TV, and you definitely don't want to miss that game because Nick Nurse, I mean, he's probably, I don't know the type of reception he's going to get. He's probably going to get a mixed reception, I would think. Cheers, some booze, because you definitely know that there are a lot of Raptors fans who were getting the kick out of what Nick Nurse now has to deal with. How do you see the Sixers situation playing all Raptors nation? Do you think the Sixers are going to overcome this? Or do you think the Sixers are going to have a down year? And do you think the Raptors could potentially leapfrog them in the standings in the Eastern Conference? Let me know your thoughts to this story down below. Definitely interesting stuff. Did not expect to be talking about this on this Monday. But here we are. The Philadelphia 76ers, one of the Raptors' biggest rivals. They have a whole lot of controversy to deal with. And let's see if the Raptors can benefit from what is going on over there in Sixers land. Let me know your comments down below. Hit a like and subscribe to the channel on your way out. That is it for me. It's Lucas signing off. And until next time, stay safe.